A potential battle among Democrats in Congress. A key vote for the party in the Senate is declaring his opposition to a $3.5 trillion social spending package. Progressives say without that bill, they will not support a bipartisan trillion-dollar infrastructure package. Madeline Rivera has the latest from Washington. Infighting among Democrats is threatening to derail two major pieces of legislation to fulfill President Biden's domestic agenda, with the price tag being the sticking point. I think Joe Manchin's made it clear that a lot of the stuff is uh, dead on arrival. Moderate Senator Joe Manchin opposes the tight timetable to pass the $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation package and the price, favoring a number between $1 to $1.5 trillion. Do we have the urgency to spend another $3.5 trillion right now? The most urgent thing that we have to do is get the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Progressives insist the bipartisan infrastructure bill and the reconciliation package must move forward together. But they also say Manchin's price ceiling is unacceptable. Physical infrastructure is terribly important. But I happen to think that the needs of the human beings of our country, working families, the children, the elderly, the poor are even more important. Democrats are giving themselves until Wednesday to put together the reconciliation package. The House now releasing more details about one way to pay for it, raising the corporate tax rate from 21 percent to 26.5. There's not even a lender to fund all this kind of spending. Uh, shouldn't we check up? Lawmakers are facing another critical deadline, September 30th, when government funding runs out. And Republicans say they're not helping Democrats raise the debt ceiling. In Washington, Mala Rivera, Fox News.